Man, I can't get over this. We, we, you got to go get my camera so we can get a picture of everybody taking pictures of me. <laughs> I'll do it. This okay. morning. It's a media event. This is great. We got uh, Sandy from the Times Herald Record here. Uh, and uh, thank you so much again for, uh, for coming on in. You're very welcome. I, I appreciate it. Now, you, you're doing, uh, now, what exactly are you doing? You're doing an article on uh, WRV's 15th anniversary, or is it really more about the Hudson Valley radio legend 15 years in broadcasting? The, the actual story is it's going to be all about you and how <laughs> you've been here for 15 years. Well, and I got to say, it's a brilliant, uh, brilliant oh, idea for man. an article. Are you serious? I agree. No. That's really about just him? I'm getting money handed off. Oh, oh okay. I apologize. All right. So what, 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 what do you want to know? What kind of angle are you going to use here, Sandy? What, what, well, what would you like me to share with you? What I was thinking was, is I have known you for years. I'm not on the air as much, but you and I do keep in touch. And I've always known you to be very humble. So what I'm wondering is, does the success and the fame ever go to your head at all? All right, is this a real article, or is this just, what are, what are you doing here? I think she knows you too well, um, dude. No, in all seriousness, though, we, we do go back with the uh, record. I remember uh, the first people to ever recognize that we were actually on the air was the record. Caitlin Ingracia, yep. who, she, uh, she did this great article, and I think I was only on the air doing the morning show for like maybe a few weeks and I don't think Caitlin even knew that. She, I think she assumed that I'd been on the air for years because this article was just like how I was like this greatest DJ, and it was it was a really great uh, great article. Well, when you, you first her. started out, weren't you around the road from us too? You were right up the street. Yeah, those were the first years when we were back at the uh, the Armory Building in uh, in Middletown. You so. were five minutes away from us. Yeah, so, yeah. It was, so it was an easy story for them to do. They just had to go to, go down the street. Yeah, now we have to follow them all the way across. the Yeah, road. you had to trek all over the uh, Hudson There's Valley. That's a hour today. drive on Route Nine. All right, so now, so now seriously, what, what do you want me to to uh, to tell you? What, what, what do you need, what do you need to know from me that you don't already know? I know I know you know how great I am and <laughs> and uh, you know what a, what an inspiration I am. Well, I know that you didn't start out at this job. So what readers want to know is probably how did you get your start in the uh, the radio? Oh, industry? that is an inspirational story. Oh how my I started gosh. my radio career. Listen I'm, up, I'm kids. glad you asked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I uh, you know I was a uh, student at Marist uh, College, and my uh, senior year. Right before my senior year, I moved down to uh, Ocean City, Maryland for the summer. Went down with a bunch of my friends, and uh, we rented this house. We were going to go work on the boardwalk. We thought it would be a fun thing to do for the summer. Kind of like Boris's version of Jersey Shore. It was exactly like Jersey Shore, but it was down in Maryland. And you were the situation. Uh, I did have a little bit of a six-pack back then. Oh, I'm I sure. Did, I did bring Six-pack of adult beverages. Sure. Anyway, <laughs> I, I uh, knew I was interested in radio. I, I did, did some uh, interning here in the building for our sister station, WPDH. So uh, I knew there was a radio station down there, so I actually went into the radio station, and I asked if there was, like, a job to do. Is it, you know, is it Could I sweep up? Can I uh, file some papers? Is there something I can do? And as I was walking in, this guy was storming out, and I didn't realize it was the overnight DJ who had just quit. So they said to me, they said, look, go into the production studio. Let me hear what your voice sounds like. We need somebody to go on the air tonight at midnight. So I said, all right, dum, so dum, dum. I, made a re- I made a recording, and the rest is history. He put me on the air. We have been forever changed. But uh, what was the format? format? It was a rock station. It was uh, 96 Rock down in uh, Maryland. But I didn't. The re- what I didn't know was, this is great, our, uh, our, our operations manager just walked by, and he saw all these cameras pointed at me. He thinks I'm a big deal now. This is good. Raise time. But what I didn't know at the time was that um, the reason why the guy quit and he stormed out is because he just learned they were changing the format to country. So they hired me to do the rock station. loves country. I worked at the rock station for a week, and then they put me on afternoon drive. As? As uh, it was Froggy, Froggy 99.9. It was one of those froggy stations down south where everybody has a frog name. Uh Like we had uh, Bubba Bullfrog and Sally Salamander, and I was Jackson Leap. And I spent the whole summer as a uh, country DJ. I hated the music, but I learned a lot about radio. (laughs) You're such a Boris. Came back here. And uh, WPDH hired me uh, to do uh, weekends because they, I had some some experience, uh, you know, working for the summer. And then we bought WRV, and uh, you know, I, the rest the rest is, is WRV history. Look, she, her it's mouth her truth. mouth is just gaping open at this inspirational story. I just think it's the whole frog name. <laughs> <laughs> She can't get past Jackson Lee. Oh, well, well, listen, you, you compose yourself, because I know I blew you away with that story. You know, think of something else. We'll uh, keep the music going right now. 